Tenure note yields moved lower to end the week. Today, closing out at 375, lower on the session, but unchanged on the week. Today, we got the PCE data, the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, which came in slightly higher, as did the University of Michigan sentiment as global central banks continue to ease policy. Now, today's data didn't alter the outlook for the next Fed meeting at November, which still sees the market leaning towards a 50 basis point cut. We also saw the Treasury curve continue to steepen its fifth consecutive week of steepening, seeing the two tens uh, spread trade at its highest since June of 2022. Again, seeing 10 year note yields trade in about a seven basis point range today, closing out at 375, down five basis points on the session. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. You'll notice volatility firmed up this week uh, today to end the week higher, actually, as the yields were moving lower, I should say, despite the fact that yields were moving lower, as we are continuing to see rising geopolitical risks nudge those volatility levels higher. Lastly, let's talk about what we have next week. Next week, we have a full week highlighted by Friday's jobs data. But before that, on Monday, we will hear from the Fed chair himself speaking from the National Association of Business Economics on Monday afternoon. And then it's all about jobs, whether you're talking about ADP, challenger job cuts, jolts, claims. And then finally, on Friday, we get the non-farm payroll number. So a busy week in treasuries as we see yields move higher and then reverse back lower, actually closing the week on change to 375 ahead of next Monday's Fed Chair Powell and next Friday's non-farm payroll.